This is weird. I haven't filmed in forever. I'm brunette. I live in London. A lot has changed. I feel like I'm gonna post like a full update video because if this was a full update video, it would probably be like an hour long with everything. So we're gonna keep it really short and sweet. Basically, I'm returning to YouTube, which is super exciting. And it is my full-time job in London now. And like content creation basically is my full-time job. I never in a million years thought that I would do it full-time when I started my freshman year. So when I started YouTube my freshman year, it was just a way to connect with family and friends back home. And then it quickly became a way to pay for school full-time, pay for Harvard. I thought that I would be doing like a typical job after I graduated, but basically I decided that of all the places in the world that I've been, London felt the most like home and where I really wanted to be post-grad. And I had all of my friends from Oxford. I had some family and I just felt like most of my people people were there like of all the places in the world most of my people were in London I decided to move and do content full-time because I was like you know what I have this amazing platform I have you guys before I was juggling being a full-time student and also doing YouTube like full-time or part-time now that I'm graduated and I don't have school anymore I can do it full-time so it just seemed kind of silly to go into a regular corporate job when I had this amazing opportunity right here yeah so basically I wrote my thesis got super burnt out senior year and didn't do much on YouTube and didn't do much with content I was so burnt out I was just focusing on graduating graduated took time off traveled with friends that summer after I graduated did like the post-grad trip that I'd always wanted to do and had been saving up for for forever was so happy I did that and then flew to London and basically didn't have flatmates didn't have a flat didn't have anything and now I'm there full-time so this is January 2023 I moved in October of 2022 so I've been there a few months and I love it and it's home and I'm so 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 excited to be there so this video is taking you through what it was like to move in and the first few days and week basically in my flat and then accompanying videos will be like the weeks after that and different things that I do dyeing my hair brunette which we'll get into in a different video all of the different life changes that have happened this video is about moving to London but also I wanted to talk to you guys about a really really exciting opportunity that I'm doing this year I've been working so hard on this and I'm like so excited I've teased it on my like Instagram and launched it on there but I haven't really introduced it to you guys on YouTube so I've thought about really meaningful ways to work Work with brands and to make YouTube a lifestyle. So typical brand deals just seem a little bit impersonal to me sometimes. So I was really thinking about ways that I could use this as my full-time job. I've been thinking about all of the travel that I do, the ways that I travel cheaply, and wanting to bring you guys along completely with that and invite you to travel with me. Like to me, the most quality interactions are face-to-face -face and in person, and there is no substitute for that. And as much as I love chatting with you guys online and over a DM and stuff, I really want to meet you all and bring value to your life in some sort of way. So I designed this trip so that we can all travel together. I surveyed you guys, took all of your feedback, and put together basically this dream, dream trip that I've always wanted to go on, and I'm going on this year, making it a reality. I literally have been vision boarding about this for so long, and I'm inviting you guys to come with me. So we're going to the Amalfi Coast in Italy for a week. I'm so, so excited. This has been literally on my Pinterest boards and my vision boards for years. The trip is live, so you can officially book it on Trova Trip's website. So the website goes into details about everything that's included, the itinerary, everything that we're going to be doing day to day because I like to be very organized and plan out my trips and I know that you guys probably do too. So the dates are August 27th to September 2nd. We're flying into and out of Naples. We're gonna be staying in four-star hotels, all transportation within Italy is included. Airport transfers to and from Naples are included. We get a guide throughout the trip who's like a local, who's Italian, who knows the Amalfi Coast and who will be able to talk to us about everything that we're doing. We get six breakfasts, four lunches, and three dinners that are included. And then we're doing a bunch of activities. We're making pizza in Naples because Naples is famous for its Neapolitan pizzas. We're gonna be touring Pompeii and Mount Vesuvius. We're gonna be going on a vineyard tour and tasting on Mount Vesuvius, tasting that amazing Italian wine. We're going to Sorrento, we're going to Positano, and we're doing the Path of the Gods hike, which is supposed to be incredible. We're going to Capri, and we are going on a cruise in Capri, which has literally been on my bucket list for so long, and I'm so excited to be doing this. And spending like a whole day in Capri and on the boat, it's literally 
everything that I've been wanting to do in a trip in one trip. There's so many more activities. So I put together like a day by day breakdown and itinerary of what exactly is included and where we're gonna be going. So basically I'm coming with you guys along this entire trip. So we're all going on this trip together. The guide will be leading us. I will be basically like hosting the trip, but I will be a participant just like you guys and experiencing all of this for the first time, just like you. So we'll be doing everything together as a group, having dinners, getting ready, planning our outfits, visiting all of these historical sites. Like we will be doing everything together and I'm so, so excited. I'll also be hosting a workshop called Designing Your Dream Life, which is basically about vision boarding, manifestation, goal setting, and everything that I do to make my dreams a reality. So we'll be like doing vision boards together. I'm super excited for that workshop. And also there'll be a goodie bag that I'll be putting together with goodies from like all of your favorite brands, which I'm super excited for too. So I want to treat you guys and pamper you and really make this the complete trip of your dreams. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, you can book on Trova Trip's website. There's only one early bird spot left. So that is like a discount. After that, the price goes to regular pricing. There's financing options with a firm so you can pay over time. And also only 25% of the total trip cost is due at the time of booking. You do not have to pay for the trip all at once. Also, there is a group chat for everyone who's booked so far. So as more people book, I'll be adding them to the group chat so we can plan our outfits, also plan our flights together so we can get into Naples at the same time. I'll be working with you guys to help you find like the cheapest flights too and give you like all of my tips and tricks about how to find super cheap flights. So as people book, I will add them to that group chat and everyone can get to know each other and become really good friends before the trip starts. I've never done something like this before, but I'm so excited and I really wanted to do something with you guys that was meaningful and that helped you create memories and so that I could meet you and you could meet me, but also more importantly that you guys can meet each other and form friendships that hopefully will last way beyond the trip and you can meet up even after. So I really wanted to be able to give that to you guys. I'm sure you have a lot of questions and I'm actually doing a Q&A on my Instagram right now. So it's just at Sienna Santer. Go and check that out and you can ask any questions. And if you happen to see this video after the Q&A is live, it will be in an Italy 2023 highlight on my Instagram. So hopefully every question that you could possibly ask would be answered there. So yeah, feel free to ask me also in the comments any sort of questions and I will get back to you all. And yeah, this is my big project for 2023 and I'm so, so excited about it. We're doing a trip. I'm back on YouTube. 2023 is shaping up to be an amazing, amazing year. With that, the reason that you all clicked on this video, let's roll the moving vlog. All my stuff, Bolt is waiting outside. Here we go. Let's go to my new home. Just waiting on the agent to come with the keys and for my other flatmate to show up. Two of us are moving in today, one of us is moving in tomorrow, and then the other one's moving in Monday because we all have different schedules. But yeah, I'm so excited. Riley and I, that's my other flatmate, came and dropped off our suitcases, just dropped them off last night. We weren't allowed to stay, we weren't allowed to like unpack or do anything but luckily we were able to just like drop them off really quickly otherwise I would have had a lot more stuff than this I didn't get any filming of that but today is the day that we officially get the keys and walk through and do all of the like meter checking make sure everything's in order they just finished the inventory check that's why we couldn't move in yesterday like our original supposed move-in date was is because they didn't finish the inventory check until today so we're moving in a day later unfortunately but yeah so we're gonna do all of that stuff we're gonna clean the place wipe everything down I'm trying to get like a game plan because I don't have bedding I don't have hangers I don't have towels so I'm gonna go and do like a John Lewis run I think for all of that stuff so I'll at least have like my bed made and like a bed I can sleep in tonight <laughs> so I need to do all that right now I just want to get the keys and get everything sorted make sure we're all good with the agent and the landlord and yeah this is so crazy I never thought this day would come because I've spent so freaking long like the London rental market has been absolutely insane like I've spent so long Two months of non-stop searching like every single day hours and hours on right move and zoopla calling agents talking to agents i still get emails from all of them i still get texts and calls from all of them literally probably every agent in london knew my name at one point because i was searching so hard for so long and things would get swiped and like immediately and i don't know i just 
this place. I'm just so excited for it. I'm so glad we got it. Also, it's such a beautiful day and the sun is out, which is so rare sometimes in London. It's gonna be a really good day. I have no idea what the plan of attack is. I have really no idea what I'm doing. I've never moved into like a flat that I'm renting before. We have to set up all our bills. We have to set up like our Wi-Fi, our water, like all of that stuff. We're gonna figure it out. And tonight I will be sleeping in my new bed. Oh, maybe okay. I use this one. <laughs> when you have to open your own way, woo! <laughs> For a second I was like, whose stuff is here? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wait, it's so pretty in the light. They left their baby chair here. They left a lot of stuff here, not gonna lie. We're gonna, we're gonna get it out. <laughs> Make it our own. Woo! Our balcony. Cute. Wow. Like a week 
because we moved on Saturday, like afternoon, evening, and then I was gone Sunday, Monday in Oxford, and I just got back, and today is Tuesday. Today is the day that we get our shit together. I'm gonna go to the bank, because I need to get a bank account. I'm gonna go grocery shopping, because we have no groceries. I figured out how to make coffee with our coffee machine, so I've had coffee, that's good. I'm going to hang up all of my clothes today. My shower caddy, shower organizer thing came because there's no shower storage in my shower so i'm gonna put that in and then what else am i gonna do I'm just gonna generally try to get things together i will give you a room tour right now what it looks like it's messy i have nothing put away oh i haven't given you guys like an empty flat tour yet so i'm gonna do that this is our door when you walk in it's our place for shoes Little mirror, cute. This is our hallway, so this is my room. This is our living room. This is our dining table. There's a lot of like stuff that the previous tenants left. So some of this that we're gonna take out, like we have like a high chair in here and we just like do not have any need for that. But it's super nice because it comes furnished, which is amazing. So we have like our couch here, dining table, some little chairs, our balcony, super cute. We've got some storage, a lamp, a TV. It comes with a TV, which is so nice, but we need to get it like kind of hooked up. And we need to get our Wi-Fi working. Our Wi-Fi and our hot water. We just store all our bills and everything because we do not have hot water. We have not been able to take like hot showers yet, which has been tough. But yeah, then you go in here. This is my room. Kind of messy. I also rearranged some of the furniture. So this couch was over here and I moved it with like the little coffee table. This bookshelf was like here. But I put it there, which I think like opens up the room more and like my flatmates and like people who come over have been able to just like sit here, which has like been really nice. And then we've got a dresser here, trash, bedside table, bed, balcony, and then desk I put here, but I'm not really sure. I might put the wardrobe over here and make this like a clothes area, but I'm not entirely sure because I think that kind of when you walk in, it kind of cuts off the room, the wardrobe, and I want to like maybe use the space better. So maybe I'll put the desk here, but I love having the desk by the window. So I might like rotate it over here. I don't know yet. The bed also, I love like waking up and seeing this view, but I kind of want to rotate it almost so that it's like the windows are either side, kind of like in the Parisian apartments that you see. But then I'm not sure if I would be able to access like the balcony. So I don't know yet what's going to happen. But yeah, desk. I'm going to get like a new chair for this, like going to get all storage. We've got a little fireplace and mantle. I'm gonna get like a big mirror, like an antique mirror to put somewhere. So yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. A little bare bones and I have all of my clothes and suitcase stuff to put away. Don't know if I'm gonna keep this wardrobe. It just has like hanging space in it right now. Like I need to hang up all my clothes. My hangers came, so I'm gonna do that today. I'm not sure, I'll probably keep it, but they came with the apartment and they're a little bit slanted. You can see it's like on a, I don't know if you can really see. It's kind of like on a slant, basically. That's my wig from the party last night. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We're not sure if we're gonna keep them. Basically, anything we want to have removed, we can by the landlord. So yeah, this is our little hallway. Cute. This is my flatmate Eva's room. This is our spare room, which we're kind of just putting anything that we don't want in here. It came with like two single beds. So we have those. This is like built-in storage. A bunch of like pillows and duvets that we're not really using right now. Some suitcases, random like tiling stuff that like the last people left. I don't know, or like the owner left. Not really sure. Yeah, the two single beds. We might get those removed or if we have like guests over, this could be like a guest room. We're not really sure what we're gonna do with this room yet. It's kind of just like our storage room for right now. This is my flatmate Joe's room. This is Eva and Joe's bathroom cute this is my flatmate riley's room and then this is my bathroom i have like my towels all hung up which is nice comes with this little makeup mirror this is storage so i have like my skincare in here right now and like supplements and stuff arrange that nicer in a bit and then more storage under here which is nice i have my shower like hair care products and shower stuff right here for now because i haven't been able to hang my shower caddy, but that just came. So I'm gonna do that. I haven't taken a shower in here, so I have no idea what it's gonna be like. We'll find out soon. Hopefully the water pressure is good. And then this is our kitchen. So it's super cute. We've got a little breakfast table here, breakfast nook. And then this is the kitchen, the fridge, washer dryer in there, dishwasher. And this is the coffee machine, which I was figuring out today. And it's one of those like cool ones that, I don't know, it's like barista style espresso machine. So yeah, super cute kitchen. Um, I 
I'm gonna go get groceries, go to the bank, um, do all that fun stuff, and yeah, then get to organizing and hopefully put all my clothes away today so that I don't have anything in a suitcase because I just cannot live out of a suitcase anymore. I'm so excited to like have my clothes finally put away. So yeah, let's go do that. while I was putting everything away, but here is my closet for now. This is not nearly all of my clothes at all. This is just dresses, a few sweaters, some jeans that I hung up, and a few pants and trousers, and then a few shoes, but I still have all of this, like random tops, sweatpants, just random stuff that I need to put in storage that I need to put in like boxes or like drawers or something yeah i need to get like a chest of drawers or something to go there to put all of these extra clothes in because this won't be enough i was thinking of maybe getting like a clothing rack but that might be too messy so not really sure what i'm gonna do but i did figure out that my bed has under bed storage which was really nice so i might put clothes in there for now but i don't have any sort of organizers or baskets or anything so unsure how that is gonna work. It might just be kind of a free-for-all for now. I was hoping to put like my suitcases under here, especially because this drawer doesn't open because the bedside table is in the way. I'm not really sure how putting clothes there long-term would work. But for a short-term solution, it might be okay. But yeah, I might get a chest of drawers, but I'm not really sure where it would go. This desk is nice here because I like it by the window, but honestly, I think I should put the wardrobe or like mirror and chest of drawers over here and then maybe the desk over there to like open up the room a little bit or something or maybe put my bed more that way. I'm still figuring it out. I have no idea what I'm doing really. I like the desk by the window, but I think this corner is just too big for that small desk and I think I could be using it in a lot better way. So, but I might try rotating the desk to be over here for now and then putting the wardrobe there and maybe rotating the bed. I have no idea if the bed moves, but I was thinking of putting the bed also like this, which might block off some of the room and it would definitely block off that middle balcony door and potentially the other two, but I don't know. It could be cute. Like if you see in like Parisian apartments where they have the bed pushed up against like floor to ceiling windows. I really like that. Mm -hmm. 